to introduce our MCs for the night. Our executive producers, Mark Goldstein, Lisa Sunan, Matthew Holt, and Dr. Daniel Kraft. Welcome to the fourth annual UCSF Health Hub Digital Health Awards. My name is Mark Goldstein. And the changes this year is obviously we're at HLTH in Las Vegas and fully in person after two mostly online and hellacious COVID events that we had to manage in our, after our first year at, at UCSF's campus. So it's great to be able to fist pump and be, be together. This is just awesome. Um, so, and thanks for coming. I can't wait to invite our sponsors and winners on stage and us. We're going to have some fun tonight. These are great companies and they deserve it all. Um, but why are we really here? We're here not because we needed a really big nightclub, because this is a pretty damn big nightclub, but because last year we held it at the Warriors Chase Center in San Francisco and that place is pretty big. But we're here because our companies, our stars told us we want to win in front of our next customers. And they're all here at HLTH. HLTH is the industry's biggest show and we're here. What's new? We added a new track this year called Rising Stars, the amazing Rising Stars, and we got this idea from the Gartner Group, and they have something called Cool Companies, so we decided to do that with healthcare. And these are companies that are a little smaller, maybe a little less funding, a little less validation, but these are amazing companies with amazing ideas that the industry needs to recognize. So thank you to our sponsors. You saw them in the video. We couldn't be here without them. These companies are making it happen, and it's not easy to pull off an event like this, so we're really lucky to have Genentech and Eli Lilly and Salesforce, Wilson Sassini, Russell Reynolds, and 20 absolutely incredible digital health venture capital firms that are our donors. They've been supporting this for five years, and they should all get your first looks if you're looking for fundraising. So with that, I'm going to introduce you to my fellow co-producers. First of all, we've got industry investor and blogger Lisa Sunan, and you'll hear a lot from her. The larger-than-life Matthew Holt, who founded Health 2.0, which, which was HLTH before Hims bought it and ruined it. <laughs> and also to introduce my incredible co-producer, Dr. Daniel Kraft. And Daniel's going to go over the submission and judging process. And Daniel is the industry's futurist, and in my honest opinion, the best inspiration we all have for the future of health. Daniel? Okay. All right. Thank you, Mark. Hi, I'm uh, Daniel Kraft, founder of Digital.Health, NextMed Health, and a partner with Continuum Health Ventures. Um, our awards process is lengthy, competitive, takes the work of hundreds of pre-vetted digital health expert volunteer judges to complete. The first step was open submissions in which the companies from across the world submitted their solutions for evaluation. We received a record number of submissions this year in both tracks, 1,250. Questions to the t uh, companies included, what problem are you solving or working to solve? What is your superpower? What are your customers and users, or who are they are? Clinical and customer validation. What regulatory approvals received or applications are in progress? What cost savings and reimbursement mechanisms do you have? And after our submissions closed, the hard work for our judges started. They had to review the applications based on a level of differentiation, validation, customer traction, clinical impacts, and potential cost savings. As a result, 80 fantastic best-in-class companies were selected as quarterfinalists. First of all, a big thanks and shout-out to our judges, many of whom are here, and the valuable time, energy, and consideration they put in judging. Thank you, judges. <laughs> Woo! Wasn't easy. In the next round, the judges then selected the 40 best-in-class and 80 rising star finalists. The 50 winners that we will announce tonight were selected based on their impact, innovation, business model, evidence, and differentiation. So for an easy read to see and browse and learn about the stellar finalist companies and their solutions, click on the QR code on the screen at digital.health slash finalists. And so here we go. On to the party. Our first category. Let's get the party started. Our first category tonight is Consumer Prevention, sponsored by Eli Lilly. This category kind of reminds me of the old digital health adage, a kilobyte of prevention is worth a terabyte of cure. Thank you. The evidence goes to companies with impactful digital health solutions that focus on proactive care and prevention, helping prevent or keeping disease progression at bay, personalizing the healthcare experience, and giving consumers and patients a sense of ownership in the process of improving their health. Presenting this category will be Brian Smith, Global Lead for External Tech Innovation from Eli Lilly. Uh, hi, my name is Brian Smith, and I lead efforts at Eli Lilly and Company around connecting with external tech companies uh, to help uh, enable our mission to help patients live better lives. Um, as an important part of our mission, we aim to help patients achieve a sense of ownership in their health journey, 
tailored treatment plans based on their individual needs. This sense of ownership starts with an empowered patient. The companies in this year's UCSF Digital Health Consumer Prevention Award do just that, bring novel, accessible, and self-enabling solutions into the hands of patients, giving them the tools to help them achieve their goals. So on behalf of Eli Lilly, we want to thank the finalists for all the work they do, and we're excited to hear about the winner. John? All right, the best in class finalists in this category are Interwell Health, Lark Health, Omada Health, and WellDoc. And the winner is Interwell Health. Cricket Health partners with providers to provide services to patients with chronic kidney disease and facilitate proactive detection. Cricket Health works with nephrologists and their patients to be the eyes and ears for them when their patients are outside of the office. It's an opportunity for nephrologists to do what they've always wanted to do, which is to prevent patients from progressing to end-stage renal disease. What we are doing at Cricket is so revolutionary in changing the way that kidney care is delivered to patients. Cricket Health is more preventive. That is the main focus here. We want to prepare these patients to live their best life and to make the decisions and empower them with education. In other roles, it's more or less on a reactive side. You know, care for the patient once they've crash into the emergency room or need dialysis, but this is different. We try to prevent patients from having to go on dialysis at all if we can. Thank you. Wow, what an honor. Well, on behalf of all of our colleagues at Interwell Health, we are honored for this win. Um, thank you to UCSF. Thank you to all of the nominees and finalists. Thank you to the judges. Uh, this goes to all of our amazing colleagues that are doing fantastic Fantastic work for chronic kidney disease on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you to Jonathan Bloom for making the introduction. He was uh, the, he's the founder and CEO of Podiometrics, one of the winners from last year. So, announcing the rising stars is Lee Shapiro from Seven Wire Ventures, a famed seed stage fund from which great companies like Livongo and Transparent have emerged. Over to Lee. Thanks so much, Daniel. So great to be here. The eight rising star finalists in this category are Cancer IQ, CardioCall, Gabby, GateBetter, Kitcom, IntelliHealth, Outcomes for Me, Viocare, and now we get to learn the four rising stars from this great eight. Kit.com. Gabby, IntelliHealth, and out comes for me. All right. Accepting these awards are Eric Stepanski, Senior Director of BD and Growth for Kit.com. Kit.com has turned the home into the exam room of the future, a rising star that's been snapped up, now part of Row. Next, we have Caitlin Christine, CEO and founder of Gabby. Gabby is an AI-based breast cancer risk assessment that helps women understand their risks. Sloan Saunders, CEO and co-founder of IntelliHealth is here. IntelliHealth is changing the perception of obesity and redefining how it's treated. And from Outcomes from Na For Me, we have Maya Sa Saeed, founder and CEO. Outcomes For Me empowers cancer patients with treatment options, medical records, and clinical trials. Hi, this is Dr. Steve Clasco, and I am 
thrilled to be back with the UCSF Health Hub. I am an executive in residence at General Catalyst. I am so excited about hearing some of the amazing things happening in the finals this year. Hey everyone, um, I'm Sophie Park and I'm a part of the Bayer GFRA team as a managing director of strategic partnerships and investments. Um, in 2022, I mean, we're nearing the end of it almost. Digital health continues to evolve and bring innovative solutions to people who need it the most. Um, we're very excited to be a part of health this year and our sincere congratulations to all of the companies who have applied, but for those lucky few of you who have made it on stage tonight, we're excited to change the experience of health with you. Hi, I'm Lee Shapiro, managing partner of Seven Wire Ventures. We are so pleased to participate in the University of California, San Francisco Health Hub Digital Health Awards for 2022. We've had the opportunity to work with some great companies like Lavango, Transparent, and one of last year's winners, Same Sky Health. We congratulate all the participants and thank you to everyone who helped make this event possible. All right, okay, next up, consumer wellness. Uh, it may be different from consumer prevention, we'll see. Right, since those early days of digital health, it's been about people, patients, citizens, just humans using technology to improve their own health. So now there's a thriving market of consumers who are taking charge of their own wellness. It's super exciting. The jury is out as to whether it saves any money or whether it integrates with the rest of healthcare, but I think the genie's out of the bottle. So whether it's helping with hot flashes, supporting women in pregnancy, improving hearing, or just helping you book a, a doctor, the finalists here have got unique solutions which is actually changing people's experience of healthcare. So presenting this category and announcing our best in class winner and also will answer the rising stars will be Stacey Fell from Johnson & Johnson. Okay, a little known fact about Stacey. Before she moved to a massive mansion in Pacific Heights, she stayed in the same apartment block as me in San Francisco, as did Rock Health founder Halle Teco. Stacey, take it away. Thank you, Matt. Well, it's an honor to be here once again representing Johnson & Johnson Innovation. Over the last four years, it's been a privilege to be a part of UCSF Health Hub's recognition and honor of companies around the world showcasing their best-in-class products and technologies in the digital health space. The global wellness market, as Matt said, is estimated to be $1.5 trillion and continues to rise in both consumer interest and buying power. This space is booming and there is a significant opportunity for creative solutions to address customer needs across health, specifically women's health, fitness, nutrition, sleep, mindfulness, and more. The finalists today are delivering products to help people live happier, healthier lives, and I couldn't be more pleased to present this year's consumer wellness category. So, first up, the best-in-class finalists in this category are Ember Labs, Lexi Hearing, Ovia Health, and ZocDoc. And the winner is Lexi Hearing. Accepting this award is Celine Vanderwatt, Chief Operating Officer. Hi guys, thanks so much for this. I can't wait to get home to the team and show them that 
some of their hard work has paid off. Our, uh, <laughs> Our work aims to help the 27 million Americans that are living without access to hearing health care by the provision of smart audiological hearing solutions at 80% less than traditional costs. This might look like overnight success, but it's six years of incredibly hard work. A lot of scientists, audiologists, engineers um, that put a lot of work into making sure that we could put an audiologist in your pocket. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. The next award is our Rising Star Award. The finalists in the Rising Star Consumer Wellness category are Dioro Devices, I'm Aware, Jasper Health, Nimble Science, Smart Nora, Playback Health, Radical Science, and Rosie. And the four Rising Stars are Jasper Health, Nimble Science, Rosie, and Smart Nora. All right, next up is Lindsay Harper. She's the founder and CEO of Rosie, which is a shameless, in both senses of the word, set of interventions using a bunch of approaches to improve women's sexual health and pleasure. Uh, Baruz Hariri, who's the CEO of Smart Nora. So Smart Nora is a smart pillow that stops old fat men like me from snoring, and my wife is very happy that you just sent me one. And finally, uh, Carrie Hatfield is the Chief Growth Officer of Jasper, which helps cancer patients with advice, guidance, and, and uh, uses human-led coaching across the patient's journey. Hi, my name is Stephen Collins. I'm the CEO of Matter, the healthcare incubator and innovation hub. We've been fortunate to be associated with past winners, Lavango and Advocacia, and look forward to more Matter members winning awards. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. I'm the co-founder and president of Catalyst at Health 2.0. After more than 20 years in this industry, I can honestly say we're at a very exciting time, both in terms of how digital health is addressing health inequities and how much we're learning from the pandemic we're emerging from. I couldn't be more proud and happy to congratulate all the winners of the UCSF Health Hub Digital Health Awards uh, for the work that you're doing and for being on the stage tonight. category recognizes the best innovations in employer prevention and wellness. These are digital health solutions targeted at employers to help them improve the overall employee health and wellness, and to help them manage sickness, improve their lives, and over time, reduce the chronic, chronic care costs of their most valuable assets, which are their people. And presenting this category is Eric Harnish, who's the Vice President of Partner Programs for Mayo Clinic and announcing our best-in-class winner and rising stars will be Chihiro Hosoya, who's the head of pharma business and commercial development for Stellis, which provides value to patients across the whole patient journey. Eric. Thank you. It's so exciting to be here. Most of you know Mayo Clinic, so I don't need to give you much history, but has re-evolved over 150 years of integrated care, our CEO asked us, what does it mean to be a platform business model? So the group that I lead works with early stage startups, and we're super excited to be involved in the UCSF Health Hub event. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chihiro Hosoya with Astellas. Astellas is a Japan-based pharmaceutical company. We are the second largest pharmaceutical company in Japan with top line revenue is $10 million. We are also incubating new digital health solutions to treat or manage disease condition. 
We do this with partners who have great technology and tackling new business models. Finalists in employers' prevention and wellness categories have developed new technology and also new business model, finding ways for employees to manage health conditions, well-being, family planning, and life planning. And the finalists in these categories are the Capital RX, and Maven, and Quit Genius, and Bowder. And the winner is Bauta. They told me I'd follow in my mother's footsteps. She died young from diabetes. That terrified me. I was in constant pain, especially in my feet. I didn't know if I was going to be able to carry on doing my job with the pain that I was suffering from. I was diagnosed at 27 with diabetes, and shortly after that, I was put on insulin. For me, that was scary. They tell us all these things about what living with diabetes is all about. What living with diabetes means. But they're not true. My job is to provide benefits and save the company money. I now have a life-changing solution for our employees and their families. I'm not on insulin anymore, and it's a very big deal. Can't wait to see what's next. I'm better at my job than I was 10 years ago. I don't deal with the constant pain, and I'm putting the young guys to shame. Accepting this award is Sammy Inkton, founder and CEO. Well, thank you so much for this award. Okay, everybody's drinking, but this is a quiz game. What day is today? What? Correct, it's Monday and the World Diabetes Day. And on behalf of the half a billion people who are suffering from type 2 diabetes, I'm accepting this award and announcing that our goal is to make the World Diabetes Day obsolete by reversing the disease. Thank you. <laughs> The eight rising star finalists in these categories are Cancer Aid, Diagnostic Care, Diffity Health, Kamaru, Life Metrics, Managing Life, Plethi, Tune Care. And the four rising stars are Diagnostic Care, Diffity Health, Life Metrics, Tune Care. Accepting these awards, Rafael Lopez, co-founder of Diagnostic Care, which provides low-cost virtual first primary care in Mexico. Rajan Sina, founder and CEO of Digby Health, which empowers every individual with smart knowledge about their genetics and gut microbiome. Kelly Benny, president of North America of LiveMetric, the only FDA-cleared, non-invasive blood, blood pressure monitoring system that correlated to the Ortilio line and Kate McGinley, co-founder of TuneCare, which connects patients to qualified and credentialed audiologists via a clinically validated platform. Congratulations. My name is Vin Gupta. I'm Chief Medical Officer of New Health Products at Amazon. I'm a pulmonologist, and it's great to be with you today. I wanted to say congratulations for your well-deserved awards as part of UCSF's fourth annual Health Hub and Digital Health Awards Show. What you are doing is helping to redefine the future of medicine and how we care for our patients. And it couldn't come at a more critical time for us as a country, as a world, given all the crises that we're facing. So thank you, thank you for your work, and congratulations. Hi, I'm Matt Kozla, Managing Director of the Techstars Healthcare Accelerator, sponsored by Cedars-Sinai, Point32 Health, UCI Health, and United Healthcare. 
Congratulations to all of this year's health winners. We can't wait to see what you do next. Hi, my name is Michelle Shogren, former Senior Director of Innovation over at Bayer and now CEO of Innovate and in What You Do. We're transforming the way user voice is used to innovate clinical trials. I'm excited to be here and celebrate all of those working hard to innovate digital health. Good luck finalists and congratulations to all the winners. And the holy grail in medicine is preventing problems before they begin and eliminating errors of commission and omission. In the evolving age of data and digital tools, these applications are some of the most promising we have to help clinicians optimize care. The clinical diagnostic tool or platform technologies category includes digital diagnostics, clinical monitoring related products, and by turning the soup of clinical metrics into something useful, companies are turning data into action. Presenting this category will be Dr. Stefano Bini, Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at UCSF and founder of DocSF. And announcing our winners will be Annabelle Aspiras, Chief of Staff of Mendel, a SaaS platform that takes unstructured medical data and automatically converts it into structured EHR readable form. Hello, Lisa. Hey. I am honored to be here representing the University of California San Francisco Digital Orthopedics Conference, San Francisco with DocSF, and also as a member of the board of the UCSF Health Hub, and especially as a clinician practicing at UCSF, because this particular category represents companies that are tackling challenging problem of implementing technology at the edge. And literally, it's the edge where data meets the patient. It's not so simple. And to introduce the category winners is Annabella Galil, CEO of Mendel. Thank you. Annabella! Oh my goodness, so many Mendel fans. Um. <laughs> not the CEO, Chief of Staff, but good evening, everyone. Um, so the finalists for best in class um, for this category are 4D Medical, Butterfly Network, Somnaware Healthcare, Tito Care. And the winner is Tito Care. The only telehealth solution that enables virtual primary care with real remote medical exams beyond just video. It increases the quality of care and helps families reduce unnecessary and costly emergency department visits. Title Care has made our Anthem plan so worthwhile. I was very happy with our coverage beforehand, but this is like put a value on it that is extraordinary. I had my daughter come home from school sick one day I had Tito Care here. I was able to request my um, virtual doctor visit. I had my daughter seen by a doctor after hours, and she actually was able to get cleared and return to school the next day. Tito Care has been excellent for those middle of the night worrying moments of mine as a mom, and it has definitely saved me ER visits. It's been a huge blessing for my family. So, uh, thank you. It's a real honor to receive the, this award. Uh, we recently launched our uh, Home Smart Clinic, which is meant to close the gap in home uh, care. And uh, by that, we're actually allowing families to get better access to quality care all around the world. So, thank you. All right. And so now for the award for Rising Star, the eight Rising Star finalists in this category are Atropos Health, CardioWise, iNook, Alera Health, Medicore, Neuralite, Promaxo, Radiant Oximetry. And the four Rising Stars are Atropo Health, CardioWise, Alera Health, Medicore. Congratulations. The companies that are making it so physicians don't have to do anything but read screens. Roll. I'm delighted to announce that these awards will be accepted by companies that are making it so physicians don't have to do anything but read screens. 
Jeffrey Dalbo, CTO of CardioWise, which uses AI so clinicians know what's going on in the heart. Emilian Papa, CEO of Alera, a tech-enabled primary care model for Africa. Christian Pasquale, CEO of Medictor, which takes the jumble of patient info and directs patients to the right level of care. And Brigham Hyde, CEO of Atropo Health, which provides research-grade real-world evidence at the point of care. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Caroline Carney. I'm Chief Medical Officer for Magellan Health and President of Magellan Behavioral Health. And I am so excited to be able to be part of presenting this award tonight. I'm incredibly excited to be part of your evening and incredibly proud of all of you who have made it to the stage tonight. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Hi, I'm Adam Dakin, partner with Dreaming Health Ventures, a Philadelphia-based venture fund focused on seed and Series A digital health investments. We're delighted to be supporters of this year's Digital Health Awards and thrilled that several of our portfolio companies are represented here tonight. Congratulations to all the finalists. Making it to the stage tonight is no small accomplishment. Hi, Dorit Donneville here. I'm Executive Director of TRISH, the Translational Research Institute for Space Health. We believe that being informed is being healthier. We're pleased to be part of this, and we'd like to congratulate all the companies that applied and made it here today to this stage. My venture firm, Builders VC, made a nice donation to the show. I got to pick the award I wanted to present. You know, I'm a volunteer for the award show, and my day job is basically being a VC, where I get to invest in cool companies like Carbon Health, Neuroflow, and some of our new rising stars, including Gabby, Diagnostic Care, Rosie, and others. Well, mental health four years ago was that other category that included a bunch of early stage companies with maybe a million or so of run rate. Well, times really changed. Studies show that global prevalence of anxiety and depression sadly increased by a massive 25% since COVID. But as importantly to us here, mental health is also now covered by most health plans. And this hyper-competitive category honors the digital health solutions targeted at addressing and improving mental and behavioral health. Announcing our awards, and rising stars will be Erica Jane, who's the CEO of Healthy, a digital health app and infrastructure platform that can help digital health companies get to market faster and dramatically save on the engineering resources. The best in class finalists in this category are Achille, Bamboo Health, Bicycle Health, and Papa. And the winner is Achille. Imagine a medicine made up of pixels and play. <laughs> Created with cognitive science and proven in clinical studies. A video game That's what I'm talking about. that invites your child to discover new worlds. You did it! Nice. Build their universe. That was tough. Capture mystic creatures. Boost past challenges. And unlock new characters. Oh yeah! All to create positive change. Introducing Endeavor RX, the first prescription ADHD therapy 
Look at us, rocking it again. Delivered through a video game experience. Designed to work alongside your treatment plan. Hey, hey, whoa. You were all round, and I was all woot. Awesome. And proven to improve attention. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank everyone here tonight. I'm really happy to be able to be here tonight to accept this award on behalf of the team at Achille. It takes a very large number of people to build this game to help our patients. Um, we're, we're honored to share the stage with so many innovative companies who are all trying to bring us um, a better health. Thank you. Up next, the eight rising star finalists in this category are Grit Digital Health, Learn to Live, Lucid Lane, Mantra Health, We Therapeutics, Scalable Therapeutics, TOYs Therapeutics, and Teatros. And the four rising stars are Mantra Health, We Therapeutics, Teatros, and Wise Therapeutics. Accepting, these, accepting the award is Ed Galson, CEO and co-founder of Mantra, a, di a, a digital mental health provider for university students, Kimberly Saron, founder and CEO of Teatros, which is helping HR departments better manage the overall mental health, productivity, and psychological resilience of their workforces. Raj Amin, CEO and co-founder of Wise Therapeutics, which uses neuroscientific research to improve mental health through casual, accessible games. The CEO of, of We Therapeutics is unable to attend, but Lisa's accepting their award on their, on their behalf. Thank you all. I'm Mike Dowling. I am the president and the CEO of Northwell Health. Just want to take a moment to say a special congratulations uh, to all of the participants in the Digital Health Award Program. Uh, special thanks and congratulations, obviously, to UCSF. And a special, special congratulations to all of the finalists. Uh, what you do is exceptional, important, and creates the potential for new discoveries going forward. So to all, congratulations and thank you. Hi, I'm Sarah Benjamin. I'm the head of healthcare at the Israel Economic Mission to the West Coast. On behalf of myself and my company, I wanted to give a big congratulations to all of the Israeli companies that have made it this far and all the other participating companies as well. Also wanted to give a thank you to the UCSF Health Hub for being great partners, both now and in the future. Hi, my name is Hubert Zajcik, co-founder and CEO of Health Law Catters in Dallas, Texas. Having been involved with the UCSF Digital Health Awards from the beginning, it is once again a joy to lend our support. It is so important to recognize the best and brightest in our industry and to celebrate their successes. The Digital Health Awards allows us to do exactly that and thereby cheer on our health innovators. I want to congratulate all the winners on this tremendous honor. Mendel has the mission to make medicine objective by learning from the journey of every patient. And the way we do that is we've built technology infrastructure and AI infrastructure that is able to read medical records and understand them like domain experts. And the only difference, it can do this at scale. So it's scale of the machine, but it has the intuition of a domain expert. Our sixth category, Remote Diagnostic Tool or Device, awards the digital health device, product, or solution for remote patient monitoring and or diagnostics. 
COVID certainly acted as a catalyst, and more and more care has been taken from hospital to our living rooms or hospital to hospital. And these are solutions driving better care and improved care access and equity. Presenting this category and announcing our winner for the Rising Stars will be Nancy Mastriani, Head of Growth at HLTH, who needs no introduction. Over to Nancy. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. As a member of the UCSF Health Hub and Health Team, we are extremely happy to bring you all together here in beautiful Las Vegas for this great awards program. Uh, we want to really make sure that everybody has a great time and welcome everybody here to this incredible event and then staying later for the innovators reception. We're ready to get started on the best in class category. And the finalists are the best in finalists are Bioformis, Huma Therapeutics, Gluco, Sear Medical. Are you guys ready for the winner? I need to hear some enthusiasm. The winner is Bioformis. What if patients suffering from acute and chronic conditions could spend less time in the hospital and more time feeling confident and cared for in the comfort of their own home? What if networks, clinicians, and payers could turn fewer readmissions into a higher level of care for all? Bioformis is a fast-growing global leader in care at home solutions, transforming patient health through personalized, predictive care. Enabled by artificial intelligence, Bioformis's care at home platform provides actionable insights to help clinicians deliver the right care to the right patient at the right time. I'd like to now introduce Shiza Hussein, who is the CCO of Bioformis. Thank you. I just want to say on behalf of Bioformis that we are incredibly honored to have the team be recognized for the work that they do, that our entire team does to help transform patient health with personalized predictive care. And secondly, I just want to congratulate everyone in the category. We are honored to be a part of this group of powerful innovators and together excited about changing healthcare together. Thanks, everyone. The eight rising star finalists in this category are ClearStep Health, Limber Health, Primary Dot Health, QT Medical, Stratos Labs, SPECT, Stell Life, Xander Cardian, Inc., and the four rising stars are, are you guys ready? ClearStep, Limber Health, so it's Clear Step Limber Health, SPECT, and Stratos Labs. Come on up, everybody. Accepting these awards are Mark Gruner, Chief Medical Officer of Limber Health, which empowers clinicians for remote patient monitoring for musculoskeletal care. Bilal Naved, Chief Product Officer from Clear Step, makes it easy, Clear Step makes it easy for patient consumers to self-navigate to the right care in the right setting in real time. Mike Ritchie is accepting as the co-founder and CEO from SPECT. Their mission is to prevent blindness with early stage detection of eye disease. And from Stratos is Nick Delmonico, CEO and co-founder. Stratos is a company harnessing the power of sensors and algorithms to provide early detection and predictions of early worsening respiratory disorders and diseases. Congrats to all the rising stars. Hi everyone, my name is Atul Butte and I'm a professor and institute director at the University of California, San Francisco. I'm also the chief data scientist of the University of California Health System. I am thrilled that the field of digital health continues to grow, especially given all the challenges the healthcare world is facing. I want to wish a hearty congratulations 
to all the contestants and all the winners this year. Hi, this is Nicole Esterman, Principal at Cambridge Healthcare Research based in the UK. I was truly excited to be chosen as one of the judges of the Digital Health Award of UCSF. It was absolutely inspiring to see the dedication of all the participants. The finalists are truly top notch. You all deserve this award. And no matter what, your work is critical. So please keep on pushing the boundaries to help transform the healthcare landscape of the future. Best of luck to all of you and thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Robin Roberts and I'm the co-founder of the Novartis Biome as well as its chief operating officer. I wanna say congratulations to all of the companies who applied and who have made it to the stage tonight. Cooley's Life Sciences and Healthcare Innovation Hub is a central resource for cutting edge companies. We offer guidance honed from decades helping clients launch technologies, resolve disputes, and navigate an evolving industry landscape. Founders, developers, manufacturers, suppliers, and investors will find valuable insight at the Life Sciences and Healthcare Innovation Hub. Check it out today. Remember that inside voices, please, everybody. Shh. Thank you. All right. So the next category is EHR innovation. So what the hell does that mean? Well, it pretty much means anything you want, so long as it uses data from EHRs to meaningfully improve the patient experience. So our best-in-class finalists, they use data in lots of ways. That includes helping patients save on drug costs, helping systems allocate resources, uh, allocate resources all across the health enterprise, helping book appointments to get telehealth, and then making actionable data available across the whole of the health continuum. And announcing the best in class winners, as well as announcing our rising stars, will be Don Rucker, who's these days a thrusting entrepreneur at One Up Health, but used to be a boring government bureaucrat who ran ONC under Donald Trump. Anybody remember that guy? All right, Don. Come on up and tell us who the finalists are. All right. Hi, everyone. So the uh, EHR, uh, new EHR, the finalists in this category are Arrive Health, Be Well Connected Health, Dex Care, and Innovacer. And the winner is Innovacer. Healthcare is at the brink of a massive transformation. Over the last 10 years, the industry has spent billions of dollars in digitizing healthcare processes with great success. That was step number one of the journey. Now, we have troves of information on our health locked in electronic silos. Without a complete patient picture, gaps in care, gaps in communication, medication use, referrals, and the entire care experience can fall apart. We need to bring this information together using a cloud platform that not only unlocks the power of the data, but also provides a platform on which new digital services and solutions can be built with native interoperability. And this is where Innovacer comes in. With the Innovacer Health Cloud, we deliver the missing pieces required to build the future of health, including a cloud-native data activation platform that acquires, aggregates, and normalizes clinical, claims, lab, and other healthcare data across systems and settings, giving providers and other stakeholders a 360-degree view of patients and their care journey. All right, and here's David Nace. Great, thanks, Don. You know, I am so grateful to UCSF Health Hub and to the judges for selecting us for this category. I mean, all of the candidates in this category of new EHR are really doing hard work to address workflow, increase scalability, really help to address revenue cycle, and most importantly, to really learn how to interoperate all these systems so that we can use all of our data. It's all about data readiness. That is the way and the path to achieving better outcomes, better costs, and better experiences. 
But most of all, we would love to thank our customers who really have the forefall to start to look at digitalizing their health systems, moving up to the cloud, and start to improve the experiences for patients, for doctors, and to start to lower the cost of care and improve outcomes for their patients. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our eight finalists in the rising star category are Andaman 7, Avo MD, AWell, Fathom, Lumion, Mednition, Particle Health, Wellbeam. And the four rising stars are Avo MD, Lumion, Particle Health, and Wellbeing. Congratulations. So accepting these awards, it's Lawrence Komen. He's the CEO of AOMD, which is a no-code tool giving providers their best preferred workflow. Robbie Hughes from Lumion is the CEO. They automate care coordination tasks and events to the patient. Troy Bannister. Is Troy there? Troy's the uh, CEO of Particle Health. It's an API platform sitting on top of those three big health data networks, giving clinical information at scale to improve care. By the way, Troy is the only guy to ever intern at both Startup Health and Health 2.0, kind of old school. And Armi Devani, who is the CEO of Wellbeam, which replaces the facts and builds the workflow connection between hospitals and the post-acute care setting. Hello everyone, my name is Omkar Kulkarni and I'm the Chief Digital Transformation Officer at, and Chief Innovation Officer at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. I'm also the Managing Director of KidsX, a digital health accelerator focused on pediatric digital health. Innovation in digital health is so critical, especially right now as we aim to take care of our patients in a very strained healthcare delivery environment. I want to congratulate all of the companies who applied and made it to the stage tonight and I look forward to hearing more about all the great work you're doing. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Glenn Tolman. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Transparent. And tonight I wanted to be one of the first to congratulate each of the UCSF Digital Health finalists on their recognition and for all the work that you've done to get to this point. Thanks very much, keep working to make healthcare better. I'm Bron Legrice, I'm the CEO of And Health from Australia, Australia's National Digital Health Commercialization Company. Super excited to be here supporting the UCSF Digital Health Awards tonight and congrats to all of the applicants and the finalists on the stage tonight, especially those Aussie companies that made it. See you all on the Australian Pavilion at Health this year. Digital health builders have been faced with two choices, an in-house build or an API Frankenstein approach. Until now, Healthy's API first platform for scheduling, EMR and client engagement enables companies to rapidly launch, customize and scale a HIPAA and SOC 2 compliant full stack solution at a fraction of the cost and time. too often the patient is left for last. Even in value-based healthcare, little of it recruits to the patient. The rest of that has been a dramatic increase, the result of that has been a dramatic increase in patient out-of-pocket costs that caused them to delay or go without medical care. The patient cost savings category recognizes digital health products and solutions that help patients keep more cash in their pockets. You can use it at the craps table. Presenting this category, as well as announcing our best in class winner and our rising stars, will be David Nace from Innovacer, our 2021 winner in this category. Hello again. I'm David Nace from Innovacer. I'd like to just say a few words. Last year, we were so honored to, have the, to be the winner in this category. And I can tell you, it's so exciting. We built our data platform to help other companies, digital health companies, come and start to innovate on top of that platform. And looking at the candidates for this year's award, they are all doing such important work to bring together and address the issues of cost in healthcare. So the finalists in this category are Constant Therapy Health, Clarify Health, Taylor Med, Wildflower Health, and the winner is 
Clarify Health. Yeah. The answers to many of healthcare's clinical and business questions are locked within each individual patient journey. Yet the process to understand these journeys has been limited by disparate data sets, disconnected point solutions, and manual analyses. Extracting actionable insights requires a 360 degree view of patient journeys that can only be achieved with big data and machine learning. Thankfully, it is now possible to break free from the inefficiencies of legacy analytics and harness the power of our collective health data to instantly answer healthcare's most complex questions. Meet the Clarify Atlas platform, healthcare's most precise and actionable source of insights. It securely links data from over 300 million individual patient lives, including 15 billion government and commercial medical and RX claim records, clinical data, and 400 plus social determinant of health factors, making our platform the largest collection of longitudinal patient journeys. Atlas delivers more than 18 billion AI-powered predictions that can be explored via self-service analytic software applications. Simply put, Atlas transforms healthcare data that was previously inaccessible and unusable into actionable insights. All right. So accepting this award is Sam Bucknight, Chief Product Officer from Clarify Health. Thank you, sir. Well, I am wise enough not to stand between you guys in a, an open bar, so I just want to thank all of you guys. It's an amazing honor to be in a room of like-minded individuals trying to make a health a impact on the healthcare system. Thank you very much. All right. The eight finalists in this category are HealthMe Technology, Coda Health, Mayo MD, Neuro Rehab VR, Samaritan, Sembury Health, Turquoise Health, Wide Awake VR, and the four rising stars are Health Me Technology, Turquoise Health, Samaritan, and Sembury Health. These awards will be accepted by Michael Havig, founder and CEO of HealthMe Technology, a marketplace for patients and providers. Tejas Inamdar, head of strategic partnerships of Turquoise Health. Where providers can set up their own storefront for patients to buy services. Jonathan Kumar, founder and CEO of Samaritan, which is a platform that helps the unhoused find shelter. Nadarati Mothar, CEO of Sembray Health, which is doing what Congress isn't, reducing what patients pay for medicines. Before we move to our next category, we have Greg Talbert, Senior Vice President, Head of Personalized Healthcare and Digital Partnering from Genentech. He's going to announce the winner of the Machine Learning Challenge. Over to Greg. Hey there. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, Genentech and Roche are proud to be sponsoring uh, the AI Innovation Award again for the second year in a row. We believe that the future of digital health will be tied to patient outcomes and that AI will be needed across the value chain from discovery to development to providing commercial solutions to patients, which is why we've executed 60 plus transactions over the last four years, formed partnerships in these areas with companies just like these. So, with, so I'd like to turn it over to someone to introduce the finalists in the awards. Thank you. Our category number nine is new health applications of AI. New applications of AI machine learning are evolving and accelerating. The new applications of AI category sponsored by Genentech seeks those products that are facilitating a digital transformation in healthcare. And this year it was a pretty incredible group. No longer are companies promising hope and dreams. Now it's being delivered courtesy of robust federated data sets, EHR integration, easy to use apps and prescriptively tied recommended therapies, and best personalized next steps to take. So not only in this company is this company going to get their trophy, they will also receive a GeForce RTX 3080 T from NVIDIA. Presenting this category will be Greg, and announcing our best-in-class winner will be Gary Goldman from the Global Health Impact Fund, a boutique early-stage VC that specializes in digital health investments. Hello, everybody. 
So the finalists in this category are Alio, Cleary, Immunai, Rad AI, and Floor Shot. And the winner is Immunai. Immunize end-to-end -end platform that provides granular, reproducible immunological insights at scale to help detect, diagnose, and accelerate drug development through a comprehensive understanding of the immune system. Immunize platform identifies rare cell types and decouples complex cell states to correlate immune surrogate endpoints with clinical endpoints. Following our expertly designed protocols, we start with biological samples and process them in different configurations of sample and library preparation to generate single cell sequencing data. The generated data is then processed through a fully automated computational pipeline powered by our machine learning algorithms to harmonize, annotate, and interpret the single cell sequencing data. Immuni, decoding the immune system to improve health. Thank you very much. The immune system is the military in our bodies, and Immuni is using the unrivaled data and AI powers that we have to deploy it against cancer and autoimmune diseases. Thank you. And announcing our rising star is Jun Jeon from Coastal Ventures. Pioneering, uh, pioneering VC firm that's been investing in digital health way before it was fashionable to do so. Over to June. The eight finalists in this category are Bayesian Health, Biome Analytics, Gen1 e Genie Life Sciences, Idovan, Neuroglee, Perceive AI, Waymark, X Cures, and the four rising stars are Bayesian Health, Biomanalytics, Genie Life Sciences, and Waymark. Congratulations. Accepting these awards are Stuart Jacobson, CEO and co founder of Biomanalytics, which delivers solutions to help clinicians work together to deliver the best possible low cost care. Uh, Sunjaya, the co-founder of Genie Life Sciences, which develops next-level novel gener next-generation immunotherapies for rare and inflammatory diseases with no effective treatments. And from Waymark is Sanjay Basu, co-founder of Waymark, a public benefit company providing community-based healthcare services for Medicaid beneficiaries in partnership with providers and health plans. And from Bayesian Health is Sushi Sarya, CEO and founder, Bayesian has a clinical AI that delivers proactive, safer, and healthier quality care for health systems. And we're bringing back Greg from Genentech to announce the winners of our machine learning challenge. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, inspired by last year's Health Hub Awards, Genentech launched a competition of its own in machine learning for individuals. We sought to seek, we sought people who would solve problems that uh, plague us in our discovery and innovation areas. And the winners are in third place, Ben Duffy, in second place uh, for this comp competition, and I purposely didn't have a drink because of this name, Jao Pedro Fonseco de Arajo. And our, thank you, I got that right. And our first place winner for the Genentech Challenge is Mihir Patel. And they'll all see, receive a cash reward for Genentech for their participation. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Roizen, Emeritus uh, Chief Wellness Officer at the Cleveland Clinic and proud to be part of this. Congratulations to all the winners. It's a great tribute to digital health because digital health can help keep our brains younger for longer. 
that's what my new book, the real thing I'm known for, is that I've got four number one New York Times bestsellers. The latest book is The Great Age Reboot and the Reboot Your Age app, which will help you be 40 when your calendar age strikes 90. That's what digital health can do. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Blake Wu. I'm a partner on the healthcare team at NEA focused on digital health and life sciences. NEA is proud to be a member of the UCSF Health Hub board, and I'm proud to be a judge for this year's awards. Congratulations to all the companies and nominees today. It's exciting to see the continued development of the digital health ecosystem. I'm Jennifer Goldseck, CEO of the Digital Medicine Society. I'm so impressed with all of the finalists this year. Congratulations on a terrific accomplishment. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Michael Blum, the founding CEO of Beekeeper AI. This year's crop of applicants to the Health Hub Awards is by far the largest and the best that we have seen, reflecting the important maturation in this space. Congratulations to all the finalists, and I encourage everyone to keep up the excellent work so that we can deliver on the promise of digital health for our patients and their families. So, since the Jetson met in the 1960s, the healthcare industry has sought to figure out how and when telehealth would make a real impact on the field. Who would have thought that the catalyst would have been a spiky virus 60 years later that it kept us in our homes for three years? The new telehealth innovation category honors companies who brought the Jetsons vision to reality. Presenting this category and announcing our winner will be right, uh, and announcing our winner and rising stars will be Stephen Toll from HLM Venture Partners, a venture capital firm that is also sponsoring the Health Innovators Reception after the awards show. Stephen. Well, hello everybody. So. Uh... HLM has a long history of investing in telehealth companies across multiple segments. And if the pandemic taught us anything besides how to swab our nose, it's how important telehealth is and how critical it is for innovation to happen in this space. So let's go on and talk to about our best in class uh, uh, nominated companies here. The best in class finalists in this category are Hello Care. New York City Health and Hospitals partnered with DocGo, Oso VR, Science Has 37, and the winner is Science Has 37. So accepting this award is Darcy Foreman, Chief Delivery Officer. Thank you, Steve. We're so excited and honored to win this award tonight. Science 37's mission is about bringing universal access for more patients to participate in clinical trials. So we're thrilled to be here. We're thrilled that our technology is enabling that. And we're just so excited. Thank you. All right, the eight rising star finalists in this category are Andor Health, Bold Health, Pear Team, Recora, Santa Health, Scene, Teleview Innovation Limited, Zephyrex, and the four rising stars are Andor Health, Bold Health, Pair Team, Zephyr X. Come on up and get your trophy. I'm delighted to announce that these awards will be accepted by Noel Kurtzconi, CGO of Andor Health, Jarvis Technology to help patients and families connect and collaborate, Elena Masatia, CEO of Bold Health, a digital gut management platform, Neil Badavala, CEO of Pair Team, a virtual and community extension of the clinic, 
and Dwight Chu, CEO of ZephyrX, which provides remote respiratory monitoring solutions. Congratulations to the winners. Hello, my name is Unity Stokes. I'm the co-founder and president of Startup Health. Uh, I am incredibly honored and grateful to be a part of the UCSF Health Hub Awards again. Um, it was incredibly inspiring to have the chance to see and meet so many of the amazing innovators uh, that were nominated. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Uh, the work that you all are doing to transform the future of health is, is just extraordinary. So thank you for doing what you do. Congratulations again. Hello, I'm Dr. Stefan Obini. I am the Jan and Maria Schramm Endowed Professor of Orthopedic Surgery, and I'm also the founder and chair of the Digital Orthopedics Conference San Francisco, otherwise known as DocSF. You know, in 2022, we came to terms with the fact that the current system is neither scalable nor affordable, and that the only solution to providing equitable and affordable care will be through technology. I'm honored to congratulate all the companies who have worked so hard to merit a place at the UCSF Health Hub Digital Health Awards 2022. You're the future of healthcare. Hi, everyone. My name is Ava Asgari. I'm the senior program manager for our health program at Plug and Play. I'm so excited to see over 20 of our portfolio companies and program alumni represented across the board today. We're super honored to be here, and we're so excited to see the winners of this year's Digital Health Awards. So congratulations and best of luck to all the finalists. I'm LaShonda Anderson-Williams, and I'm the EVP and CRO of Global Healthcare and Life Sciences. As we always do at Salesforce, we are going to start with our gratitude. Thank you. It is my job to work with healthcare organizations around the world every day, and I'm so proud and inspired by our entire community. Today, we're here to celebrate you and your achievements. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so believe it or not, that's it, or at least that's it for the categories, okay? So you just saw 10 categories. There were 1,250 entries. We got it down to 10 best-in-class winners, and look, they're real companies. Back at the first Health 2.0 conference in 2007, no one had any money, they weren't a big deal. But we also just threw at you 40 rising stars in those 10 categories. So we're going to give the top three of those rising stars who got the most votes from all of the judges one additional honor. We're going to call them the rising star champions. We're not going to bring them on stage, but to introduce those champions, here's Wendy Cofran. She's the digital strategy officer from Salesforce, which is our best in class track sponsor. Right, Salesforce is really expanding their ambitions in healthcare. Wendy's going to give us a little taste of the very latest from Salesforce Health before she introduces those champions. Wendy, you're on. <laughs> Take it off, Wendy. All right, we got this. All right, so Salesforce is so proud to be sponsoring this event tonight, and we want to congratulate all of the winners and the finalists. Salesforce is your digital platform trusted partner on the world's most trusted ecosystem and marketplace. With that, we will be reaching out with an exclusive opportunity for all the finalists and winners for the event tonight. And now we have our three rising star champions, our Atropos Health from our clinical diagnostic tool category, Bayesian Health from our new health application of AI category, and Jasper Health from our consumer wellness category. You can collect your second trophy after the show. And congratulations to our rising star champions. This concludes the announcement of all the winners for the best in class and in the rising star categories. So the only thing between all of us and some really great cocktails is the Hall of Fame announcement. So Matt, back over to you. All right, thank you, Wendy. Congratulations to all those champions. All right. So, last one. So, inside voices, please. Okay, so three years ago, I stood on the stage at UCSF, and I was told to introduce some bullshit like a Lifetime Achievement Award. 
And I said, you know what digital health needs? It doesn't need one achievement award for one person. We need a huge hall of fame. So with Mark's permission that night on stage, I invented the UCSF Health Digital Hall of Founders Hall of Fame. Sorry, Digital Health Founders, Digital Hall of Founders. So 2019, that first class, Glenn Tillman from Livongo, Sean Duffy from Amada, and Anne Wazicki from 23andMe. 2020 class, flip it over. 2020 class, Roy Schoenberg from Amwell, Doug Hirsch from GoodRx, and Rajiv Singh from Accolade. 2021, Julia Hugh from Locke, Aya Ron from CityBlock, and Deadlock Kilpatrick. So, to introduce the 2022 awardees, Julia Hugh is back with us. Hi, Julia. And Camille Graham, all the way from Mayfield Fund, and they're going to jointly introduce our two awardees. So give it up for Julia and Camille. Gam oh, yeah, perfect. Camille and I just found out we are the last thing between you and dinner, so we're going to keep this really short. Um, it's wonderful to be a part of this, and thank you to UCSF. Um, the Hall of Award fame um, was, the award was, what, Hall of Fame Award uh, was so helpful for us because as all of you guys know, uh, being an entrepreneur is hard and we are all trying to solve the world's problems and it's a lonely fight. So um, this night is for you guys and uh, we'd love to announce the 2022 Hall of Fame Award winners. Um, read it. All right. Um, we're waiting for the script. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Please congratulate Kate Ryder. Kate Ryder has built Maven into the first unicorn in women's health, giving their client employees an extensive online network of fertility, pregnancy, adoption, parenting, pediatrics, and menopause services. Moreover, Kate has been outspoken about supporting mothers with a Marshall Plan for moms, and was one of the few in healthcare to loudly protest the Dobbs decision on abortion. Yay! I'm thrilled to announce Kate and her joining the Hall of Fame. So excited. Um, just thank you so much. Huge shout out. All of these awards, of course, as a founder, are really on behalf of the Maven team. And so we have an incredibly hardworking team to bring better access to care for women and families, particularly um, in a time when access has been more restricted. So thank you so much, um, Women's and Family Health. We're at the beginning of a new age. It's going to get better. And thank you so much uh, for this award. So Rushika from Depool. Uh, founded Oyor Health and has been a real pioneer in developing new ways for caring for seniors under Medicare Advantage using a host of unconventional methods. Now Iora is part of One Medical uh, and soon to be part of Amazon's thrust into healthcare. I'm thrilled to announce Rashika joins the Hall of Fame. Sorry, I mixed that up. <laughs> Twenty years ago when I started, it would be hard to believe we get a room of digital health innovators like this. It is wonderful to see everyone. Uh, we're doing great work. And uh, to everyone at One Medical and Iora, thank you for all the help. Okay. Well, we're at the end. It's a wrap. Um, and it's been really great to honor, first of all, those very deserving Hall of Fame companies and all of the amazing rising stars and best of class companies that are doing incredible things to extend everyone's life. And before we hand the room over to HLTA's Innovator Reception, where I invite all of you to stay on and enjoy the tasty food and the beverages and the show HLTH and our, our co-sponsor HLM Ventures have put together, 
I also wanted to personally thank UCSF and Barry Selleck. It's been five years since we started this and we are working together, and we could not do it without the University of California at San Francisco. I also wanted to thank our, the incredible venture capital firms that it's been five years now that have donated every year to basically make this awards program and make what we do at UCSF Health Hub work. And today's sponsors, we just heard from Wendy at Salesforce, we heard Greg at, at Genentech, Eli Lilly, Wilson Sincini. You guys made all this happen. We could never do it without you. This year, come on guys, I got to be part of a party. And I got to join my co-producers, Matthew, and Daniel, and Lisa. And without them, we could have never pulled this off. So it's really the four of us is, thank you for coming, it's been amazing. And before we sign off, we had to thank two more important groups of people. One of which is Nancy M, Mary, and Bridget at HLTH. Nancy, wherever you are, you are amazing. And HLTH is changing our industry. These guys know how to put on a show. It's great to be back, and it's great to be part of what they're doing. And then thanking Melissa, there you are, come on out. Our core team of Melissa Faulkner, Quan Jo, Farhad Aziz, Bethany Borshert, and Emma Jordan. Come on, guys. Anyone who's been a part of this program would know this nothing would have happened without these people. Melissa, I can't believe you've done this. This is the second year. She is unbelievable. She can wear a hundred million hats. And look, we've got good swag. So for all of you that were judges in the program, don't forget to leave with it. For all of you who are participants in the program, we've got your hats, we've got your shirts. This has been great. Thank you. We look forward to coming back next year.